accepting love? Yeah. Uh, no. I don't think so. Like accepting some. No, I'm no. I'm very accepting of love. I think. But I probably. I, hmm, maybe I have had a problem, and I can't think of it. Like when someone loves me, like romantically, like a romance, and I have trouble accepting it. Mm -hmm. mm. What does it mean? Mm. Yeah, I've had a lot of trouble. <laughs> I'm sure I've had a lot of trouble. Usually because when someone likes you, you want to run. I have historically let men treat me like shit and I'll just put up with that. And I'll still be there whenever they want me. So I was just there whenever he wanted me. Like I would text him, you want to hang out here, respond five days later. Like things like that. And then I would never stand up for myself and be like, hey, this actually hurts me that you're not responding. Like I feel like you don't care about me, you don't want to see me. Can you not see how that would affect me that you haven't responded? Like something that's changed for me is like reframing, like I allowed that. You know, like, he's not bad, like, he's not a bad person, like, I allowed him to treat me that way. So, like, that was my issue. And, like, that's where I can make change. It's, like, not, if that, if that doesn't work for me, someone not responding to me in five days, that's, like, my choice to allow that to continue or not. And, like, taking that responsibility changed the game for me. That changed my whole perception of myself. I don't half-ass anything when I care for someone. Um, but also it's kind of hard for me to believe that I can be loved. Um, which that's something I'm working on. But um, but I don't know if I've ever been in love. Um, they say when you know, you know. When it happens, you'll know. Um, and don't get me wrong, I there are people in this town, for example, in this moment right now that I am just in, you know, I'm like, I see them on the street and I go bananas over them. So many people that I'm just crushing on and, but I don't know if that's love. I don't, I don't know if it's just the idea, if I'm, if, you, if it's the idea of them or the idea of love, but. Taylor Swift in three days. Oh, I've been to her. Um, yeah, also, yeah. Very recently, I guess, I sabotaged something that I probably could have been very happy in a relationship with this person. But I decided I need to be single. <laughs> Which I don't know if that was the right choice, but I'm happy right now, anyways, so. But I kind of got to figure out what I want in order to accept the right kind of love. Got to know what you like and what you need. And it's hard to figure that out when you're young. Can I ask why you think you sabotaged it? Because it was going well and I always think it's going to end or something or it's not going to work out so instead of letting okay. it pan out and maybe it would maybe it wouldn't i just make it not it's because i don't like the uncertainty or i can't trust myself or trust other people i've always been very independent always kept my emotions to myself never asked for help with anything and that's a hard thing to unlearn The two of us just didn't know how to, like, kind of care for each other in the right way. Like, when we were breaking up, I remember he said, he's like, I have this image of us as two young, like, two children, like, on a beach. And, um, 
we like we're both really afraid to like be friends with each other but we're like both playing building our own sandcastles on the beach and like waving at each other but we're like too afraid to like reach across the gap and like make that connection 